In this video, we are going to find the largest prime factor of the number 14641-9604. Before we move on, don't forget to give a like, subscribe to my channel, and turn on post notifications. To find prime factors of large numbers, you will need a lot of observations, such as being able to split this number into sum of powers and try to factorize the sum of powers using algebra. So for this, the first observation is to notice that it is actually equal to, I can split it into 1, 4, 6, 4, 1, and then 4 zeros added by 9, 6, 0, 4. For the first number, it is actually equal to, at first, 1, 4, 6, 4, 1. This is, in fact, 11 to the power of 4. You might have noticed the, the sequence from the Pascal triangle, something that looks like this. They are in fact power, if you just um, combine them into numbers row by row, then they are actually powers of 11. So this is 11 to the power 4 times 10 to the power 4, 4 zeros, and then added by 9604 can be factorized into 4 times 2401. And this is in fact 49 squared, or in this case I'm going to write this as 7 to the power of 4. So now I've written this into sum of uh, fourth powers and the second term is 4 times some fourth powers. Now the next observation is to notice that you can factorize and you can actually factorize expressions of this form. So the way to factorize this is to add an extra term which is 4x squared y squared and you have to subtract it afterwards and next you have to subtract that by 4x squared y squared and so for the first three terms it's equal to x squared plus 2y squared whole squared and then the second terms as in the last term, not the, not the second one, but the things that are not highlighted in yellow is 2xy whole squared. Now, it is in fact difference of squares, so it can be written as x squared plus 2y squared plus 2xy, all multiplied by x squared plus 2y squared minus 2xy. So that means we've managed to factorize x to the 4 plus 4 times y to the 4. Now back to our main problem, we can replace x by 110 and replace y by 7. So therefore, this can be rewritten as the product while x is 1, 1, 0, y is 7. This whole thing multiply by something similar, it's just that we are subtracting 2 times 1, 1, 0 times 7 instead. Now we can compute each bracket separately. So that's 1, 1, 0 squared is 1, 2, 1, double 0. 2 times 7 squared is 98, and the third term is 1540. Similar applies to the second bracket, but we subtract 1540 instead. So we compute that by hand, and the first one will be 13738 multiplied by. 11658. Sorry, it's 10 zero instead. 10658. So we've managed to rewrite that big number in the product of two five digit numbers. So we're one step closer to our the prime factors. Now we can further factorize these numbers because it's obvious that uh, we can do that because it's, they are even. So first thing, 2 times 
6869. And the second number is two times 5329. So now no more um, even factors. So we try to factorize them in different ways. Firstly, notice that 5329 is actually 73 squared. If you manage to remember um, values of squares, then you can quickly settle the green number. And what remains will be 6869. The number 6869 is actually a prime. So that means this number is in fact our final answer. The largest prime factor of the number 14641-9604. It might be quite strange to end the video in this way, so let me end this by briefly explaining how I can deduce that this number 6869 is actually a prime number without using a calculator. So to check whether a number is a prime, we usually test all prime factors has all primes that is less than square root of n say if we want to test whether n is a prime so let's we have to take a look what's the square root of the number 6869 so notice that Um, let's pick a multiple of 10, say 80. The square is 6, 4, double zero. So it's larger than 80. Now we pick a number um, a little bit closer, say 83, because uh, this number ends with a 9 as well. Well, if we square this number, we would get 6,889. So it's just a little above the number that we want to test. And that means the square root of the number that we want to test is about 82 point something, just a wild guess. But this is enough because we just want to know a rough estimate of the square root so we know um, which are the primes that we need to test. And I've actually listed out the primes already. And here are the primes, two, three, five, seven, all the way up to 79. I'm not going to test them one by one in this video, I'm going to attach some of them, uh, actually all the results, all the testing results in the comments and slightly explaining some of the special tricks that I've used. But this is um, all in all, how do we test whether a number is prime? The most primitive way without using the help of any machine.